Hello, I'm Greg Lane from Skeleton Key. In this video, we're going to do a quick demonstration of how to run scripts in the background with FileMaker Go 15. So in our test environment here, we have a file hosted with FileMaker Server 15. And on the left, we've got that file open with FileMaker Pro. On the right, we have the same file open with FileMaker Go. And we're showing that on our Mac here with Air Server. So the normal behavior when you have a script running in FileMaker Go, and then you switch to another app, the script pauses. So basically I've started a script here that's creating records inside of a loop every one second. As soon as I go out to the home screen, we'll see that that script pauses and stops creating new records. When we go back to FileMaker Go, the script will resume. That's the normal behavior, but it depends a little bit on your authentication settings within the file. So let's stop that test. Um, what if we wanted that script to actually be able to continue running while FileMaker Go was in the background? Fortunately, in FileMaker Go 15, there's a way to do that. So if we play an audio file from a container field while FileMaker Go is in the background, a script can continue to run. So let's reset the file and do a quick test with that. So I'm hitting Go. I'm going to go to the home screen. We'll see that records are continuing to be created by FileMaker Go. And I can actually open other apps, browse the web, um, you know, do whatever I want. My script is continuing to run and creating records. I can even lock the device. And then I can see on the lock screen that, yes, indeed, my audio file is playing. If I pause that audio file, you'll see that my script also pauses. And as soon as I hit play again on this audio file in the audio controls, my script continues running. So let's unlock the device and go back to FileMaker Go. And we'll see, yes, my script is continuing to run. It's creating those records. And uh, let's stop that and take a quick look at that script that is creating the records. So all we're doing is checking the status of that checkbox field. If it's checked, then we're playing an MP3 file from a container field. Uh, we're turning off the touch keyboard so it doesn't get in the way of the demonstration. And then we're just creating a new, a new record and then pausing for one second inside of a loop so that we can see the progress of that script while it's running in the background. A couple of caveats with this. If you do have a passcode enabled on your device, then as soon as you go to the lock screen and the passcode is required, then the script will also pause and there's nothing you can do to get around that. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that you must start the audio playing before FileMaker Go goes to the background. Um, in other words, you can't have this AV player play script step down here in your loop. You have to have it happen earlier in your script before the user might have put FileMaker Go into the background or locked the device. Um, that's it. Check out our website at skeletonkey.com. We've got a blog post there with more details about this technique, and you can download this sample file if you want to. Thanks.